So how have communities changed over time in BC on the, uh, on the early development indicator? Basically, we have three patterns of change. In the first pattern of change, represented here by Quinell, what we see as we go from scale to scale on the EDI is a pattern like this, where the physical scale, not much change. The social scale, the fraction of vulnerable children, went up from wave one to 2008-9. Similarly with emotional maturity, similarly with language and cognitive, and similarly with communication skills. So overall, in a district like Quinell, what's happened is that it has followed the provincial trends, generally speaking, and the fraction of vulnerable children has gone up, in this case from about 24 percent to about 32 percent. On the other hand, we have areas like New Westminster. As each of the scales scroll onto the screen, you'll see decline. So there's the physical vulnerability dropping in a positive way from about 13 percent to about 7 percent the social vulnerability dropping from 15 to 8 percent, emotional dropping from 14 to 7, communications dropping from 18 down to about 11 percent, and the language and cognitive scale vulnerability dropping from about 12 percent to about 9 percent, such that overall we have a healthy drop in vulnerability from about 33 percent down to about 24 percent. The third pattern that we see is the kind of pattern represented by Victoria. As these scales come up, you'll see small differences occurring for each of the scales, as you can see, going up and down and down and up. Uh, slight sustained decline there for language and cognitive and a slight increase for communication. But the key thing is that overall, in an area like Victoria, there was 25% vulnerability on wave one, 25% on wave two, and 25% at 2008, 2009. In other words, what we have across the province are several communities that show unambiguous decreases in vulnerability, like New Westminster, which is what we want to see. We also have several communities that show unambiguous sustained increases in vulnerability, like Quinell, which is not what we want. But most of the communities, the majority, have not yet established a clear-cut trend in either direction. Despite this, we've managed to learn some important things about uh, success at the level of communities by studying those communities that have bucked the trends and have improved over time. What we've learned is the following. First, that strong intersectoral leadership makes a difference. That is to say, senior individuals from that, in, that are associated with the health sector, the education se sector, early child development, community development, municipal and economic, working together over the long term to find resources for children and to support their development. Second, a focus on the early child uh, development indicator do outcomes. In other words, focusing on physical, social, emotional, and language and cognitive development and thinking, what are we doing for children that promote these domains of development? Third, that multiple layers of programming and support are focused on families and are coordinated in ways so that fam they are family friendly rather than fragmented, boutique separated by geography, separated by qualifications for different programs and so forth, making families' lives a nightmare. Vertical coordination, that is to say that the intersectoral coalitions at the local level are strongly connected to the individual programs and services going downwards, but also coordinated to the provincial and federal ministries and agencies uh, that have the funds and, the, and can create the policy frameworks that support and reinforce the work they are doing. And finally, alignment with the school system. The school system is fundamental for universal access uh, for programs and for the notion that early child development is about investment in early years. It is not primarily about compensating for high risk. And so those lessons are lessons that we think we can generalize to other areas of the province and with a strong policy framework make sustained progress across the province.